Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you three fruits for four different categories to help you decide which fruit you should use for PvP. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Join the Discord link in the description below. And with all that said, let's get yes, into the sir. video. All right, so there's four main categories I'm going to be going over. Spam, guild, mobility fruits, and finally, we're going to have fruits to combo with. So the order doesn't really matter, but you know, I think I want to start with mobility and I actually already have a fruit out for the mobility category which is the portal fruit I picked this for mobility because you know it has the quantum leap and the m1 tap where you can easily get away and also it has the parallel escape where they can't hit you while you're in this blue thing so yeah it's just really good for moving even the z move moves you even the c move it moves you around bro now I was going to put rumble but I'm going to save that for a different category save that for later we're going to go with the control fruit yes the control fruit because of this teleport move down here the cooldown on it is so short look at this already back and as long as you're in this room you can teleport anywhere within the room and just instant teleport basically and if your enemies like stuck you can just teleport to them and boom you're right there in front of them then you can hit your combo all right lastly we have the kitsune fruit just because of how fast this thing is bro of course you start with one tail it's not going to be as nope. fast as other fruits here but once you get a little bit of damage going a little bit of damage you start to get faster with two tails and then at three tails you're just way faster bro thing is just too fast and then if you transform you get even faster even more mobility next let's do combos for this i actually want to go to the hydra man i don't know his name tester guy hydra tester man what this guy right here training dummy okay first i gotta put spirit man kind of kind of auto aimed huh? what is wrong with spirit has it always been like this oh i thought spirit got an update all right, but look at this. You can go Wrath of Shoe, End of Times, drag him back, boom. But yeah, like that's a very simple combo. And that did a ton of damage. And the C move especially, it drags them so you can easily go into combos. So that's why I said this has to be on the combo list. Now let me try one more time to get like a little one shot, maybe 20,000 damage combo. Who knows? Boom. And there we go, 22,000 damage, finally. What would be a combos list without the light fruit? One of the easiest fruits to combo with. All right, so the X move hand of the emperor, not the best combo starter, but it works. It doesn't can break instantly, but it can breaks after a little bit. So a lot of people use this move right here, and then they'll use spiky to pull their opponent back. Boom, light destroyer right there and then use a couple god human moves and they're dead. Very kind of easy fruit to combo with. People can't really call you a spammer with it, so it's like a win-win situation. And with all that said, let's get into the last combo fruit. And I had to use flame. The C move, such a good combo starter, man. You have to be kind of on top of them. Easily, easily just go right here, somewhere near them. Use flame vortex. Use this move right here. Boom, get them down right there boom whatever moves you need to use i was just throwing moves together basically and it formed a combo definitely recommend this fruit very underrated fruit and that is all for the combos list so next let's go spam since we already use kitsune i'm gonna pick the leopard fruit it's all you do transform you can m1 with this fruit the transform has no cooldown moves flow into each other easily so easy to use moves short cooldown everything just easy with this fruit bro next is dragon i mean this could go on the combo list because fire shower is such a good combo starter you can go right there but the main spam, the main problem, the main crying causer is the transformation right here where you can just spam these moves. Two moves, 7,000 damage. Three moves, 13,000 damage. Of course, a little less on players, but like these moves are easy to aim. Huge AOE. You almost have a guaranteed kill. And the last spammy fruit, obviously, you know what we have to go with if my mouse scrolls down. Three hours later. Go fruit. This could also go in the easy combos. Pastry River, right into piercing clothesline right into soaring beast right down here go down there boom yes, v move yes, they're basically dead bro okay with our spam out of the way let's go to skill and of course first we have the rumble fruit it has some pretty good stuns on it it has the thunderstorm stuns c move stuns the v move also stuns so yeah if you have sword it's like stun heaven for you bro next of course we have paw paw really known for the v move good combo starter so you can easily just go with the v move right boom pull them back right there 
Ooh. It's just, it's kind of like a combo heavy fruit where you like have to combo or it's not really gonna work. Nope. And people that use this fruit, shout out to you, bro. Lastly, I'm gonna say dark fruit, right? All you really have to do is endless hole them, right? And then pull them back go into a combo or whatever sword you're using so you wouldn't have to pull them back and yeah again skilled so i'm gonna put it on this list that concludes all of the categories but with all that said if you did enjoy the video make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already join the discord link in the description below and i will see you guys next time